Welcome to the Grade 3 Math Quiz. This quiz is designed to test your math skills and help you practice important concepts. Read each question carefully and choose the best answer from the four options provided. Let's get started. Question number one. What is the place value of the digit three in the number 435? The correct answer is letter A. The digit three is in the tens place value. A number in the tens place is always 10 times less than the number in the hundreds place. In this case, the hundreds place is four and the tens place is three. Question number two. What is the sum of 21 and 15? The correct answer is letter D. To find the sum, we add the two numbers together. When we add 21 and 15, we get a sum of 36. Question number three. What is the value of the digit nine in the number 896? The correct answer is letter B. Each digit in a number has a specific value based on its place. In the number 896, the digit 9 is in the tens place. So, we know it represents 9 tens, or 90. Question number 4. What is the value of 5 times 6? The correct answer is letter B. To find the value of 5 times 6, we multiply 5 by 6 and get 30. Moving on to question number 5. What is the next number in the pattern? 2, 4, 8, 16? The correct answer is letter C. The pattern follows a rule where each number is double the previous number. Therefore, the next number is 16 times 2 equals 32. Question number 6. What is the name of the place value of the digit 7 in the number 475? The correct answer is letter B. The place value of a digit in a number depends on its position from the right. The ones place is the first position, the tens place is the second position, the hundreds place is the third position, and so on. In the number 475, the digit 7 is in the second position from the right, which is the tens place. Question number 7. What is the value of 10 plus 10 divided by 2? The correct answer is letter C. To find the value of the expression, we follow the order of operations, which is parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction. There are no parentheses or exponents in the expression, so we start with multiplication and division. We do 10 divided by 2 and get 5. Then we do 10 plus 5 and get 15. Question number 8. Which of these fractions is equivalent to 1 half? The correct answer is letter D. To find equivalent fractions, we can simplify or expand the given fraction by dividing or multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. For example, 1 half can be expanded by multiplying both 1 and 2 by 2, which gives 2 fourths. Similarly, 1 half can be expanded by multiplying both 1 and 2 by 3, which gives 3 sixths. All of these fractions have the same value as 1 half. Question number 9. Which of these numbers is divisible by 5? The correct answer is letter D. A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit of the number is either 0 or 5. For example, 15 is divisible by 5 because the last digit is 5. 
Similarly, 25 and 35 are divisible by 5 because the last digits are 5. All of these numbers are divisible by 5. And lastly, what is the value of 4 times 4 times 4? The correct answer is letter D. To find the value of the expression, we multiply 4 by 4 by 4. We can use the associative property of multiplication, which states that the order of grouping the factors does not change the product. For example, we can group the first two factors and multiply them first, then multiply the result by the third factor. We get 4 times 4 times 4 equals 16 times 4 equals 64. Alternatively, we can group the last two factors and multiply them first, then multiply the result by the first factor. We get 4 times 4 times 4 equals 4 times 16 equals 64. Either way, we get the same answer of 64. Well done on finishing the math quiz for grade 3. Thanks for taking the quiz and have a great day.